Spartan Kid Outdoor family, what is going on? We are out here, as the title says, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook, trout edition. Uh, we got Mr. Smith over here, there he is. We got Jackson, and then my brother is over here behind the car somewhere. Oh, there he is. Uh, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook trout edition. Uh, it is raining out here, it's been pouring. I'm wearing extra camo so we can hide from these fish. Uh, we are gonna catch some, we're gonna slap them, we're gonna slap them on the pan, and we're gonna, we're gonna teach you guys how to cook them. We're gonna teach you how to make them taste good. And Jackson says, if I catch one first, he's gonna eat some raw fish. Straight, straight trout sushi. So stay tuned guys, let's get on the water and let's slap fatty trout. <laughs> All right, guys, we're making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past and we're homebound. These guys are hitting the side of the dock here. I'm gonna go along the side where we've caught that brooder. They just stocked this place with uh, 350 last week. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can capitalize on at least a few fish. We just wanna catch a couple to, to do a catch and cook. Mr. Smith says he knows a real good way to to cook these guys up where they taste delicious and Smitty's on. It's a big one. He's got a big one on. Oh boy. He's excited anyway. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm already ready, almost ready for that. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big one. Oh boy, he's he's freaking out now. Okay. He's absolutely freaking out. Alright, he's not done. Here bro, will you reel this in? You wanna take the bell off of this thing and reel it in? Yo! Schmitty, I got the scale too. Do you think this is gonna beat the 12 pounder? I got the whale. I, I say four. Is this we gotta eat or are we gonna eat something else? I mean, what do I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say throw him back. All right, guys. So Smitty is on the board. We weighed the fish. It was it was four pounds. Jackson was right. So that's that's catch number one. If if anything else, we if we don't catch any other fish, that's the one we're cooking up. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna try to get some more fish. Though we didn't have much more success, uh, we're gonna keep fishing. We're under the covered area. We're gonna keep fishing right there. But we are gonna start. We're gonna start cooking it up. We're gonna show you guys exactly what we do, what we use to make it taste good. So let me show you guys what we're cooking with. All right. Moment of truth. Bam! That's what we're cooking with. Some butter, some garlic, some limes, because we didn't have lemons. Jackson's got the fish and the skeezing. Yummy. <laughs> you actually licked it. <laughs> he actually licked the thing. We've got some foil, some butter, some, some fish. So let me get let's get this thing set up and show you guys how we do this. Alright, real quick before we start cooking, we gotta get casted out there because hopefully. Hopefully we can get one more. We're gonna cast out here. That's a decent cast. We're gonna, first of all, we wanna loosen the drag so that if we get a, a fish, we'll just hear it. Cause I don't got much support besides this little bush here. And let's go back over here and, and get cracking. All right guys, so the first thing we need when we're doing this thing is our cast iron skillet here. We got our little burner. We're gonna turn this thing on and get it hot. And then we're gonna have Schmitty take it from there and how we season the thing. Uh, Schmitty, your forehead's flashing red. I see that. Does that mean you're on? Probably. Oh, okay, it means it's on. So let's get this, let's get this thing on and show you guys how we cook it. All right, boys, we're on. Like I said, I didn't trust this little, this, it's a big one too. Uh oh, we might need a net. We might need a net. Exactly. Like I said, I didn't trust this little dang bush to hold it up, so I loosened up the drag, and sure enough, it's screaming while I'm trying to, oh, did he come off? Or he's swimming straight towards us. I don't know how big he is. He's like swimming, 
straight towards oh, him. Oh, he's a good size. He's a monster. Ooh, it's a big one. He's a monster. Coming up with the head assist here. Loop, buddy. Yeah, because this is like I can't get down there. No, that one's eight. That one's eight or ten. Or more. Yeah, that's, that's eight. Ten. I don't know what this means. How about that for a video? Ah, got the right here. Woo Look at that guy. He's <laughs> the same gun stuff, dude. Oh. Boom. Boom. Dang, nice. Dang man. What do you got to say? That's crazy. I wonder what size that thing is. And we were just talking about, or I was talking about, I'm just going to cast it out and lay it against the bush so that if one takes it and starts running, the pole doesn't go in and my brother sees it just slapping and he runs over and sure enough, it's just peeling drag. So, um, we are, we, it swallowed the hook pretty deep. We'll probably keep this one too. Uh, but let's get the hook out of them and, and go from there. Here we go. Got there? 7.2 pounds. Not bad, I said no. eight. I yeah, eight. not as big as yours was, but she, she's a beefy one, dude. Look at the size of her. She's a fatty. And hot. First thing. Yeah, let it get hot again. Did we turn on the fire? No, I think it's on. Yep. So it's on. on. Get that sun hot. And what are your ingredients, Smitty? What do you use? Uh, butter, garlic, and at uh, this time, lime. Lime, all right. Yeah, garlic, salt. Yeah, so we want this to sizzle, so let's let it sizzle. Okay. I want to check the bag. Smitty, now that we got the pan hot, now we got the pan hot, we're going to first. Uh, on the play or put it on there. Maybe a little lime juice. Lemon will work too. So lime juice or lemon? Yeah. We we unfortunately didn't have any lemons at home, so like lime the was the next best bet. Skin side down first. Skin side down first. Yep. Alright. And have we seasoned it already? Where do we Oh we're gonna season it while it's on there. Okay. And I'm just gonna use that uh, some lemon parsley, and some parsley, and the garlic salt, wherever it went. There we go. Some garlic salt. Yeah. And about how how, how long on each side do you give oh, it? Oh, you can just tell when it's getting crispy on the other side and it curls under it. Okay. Good deal. So let's give this one a few minutes and then we'll flip that sucker and see what that, what that other side looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some garlic salt. Yeah. Bottom side and see what it looks like. Is it yet? Not quite there. Give it a few moments. Yeah. So we gave it a nice flip. As you can see, you, you know when to flip it, you gotta check it. The, the skin starts to get, get nice and crispy. Um, and then we season the other side a little bit. So we're getting rigged up right now. We're gonna keep fishing. We after that one fish we kinda Yeah, after that fish we kinda started slacking, so we gotta we gotta rig back up. Um yeah, and get out there. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you guys exactly what we're using the rig to catch these guys. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Pouring in, getting some butter on top of it, some lime on the top. Uh, Smitty just pulled off the skin so that we can get a good, a good burn on, on the top of it there, get it nice and crispy. So. Crap, 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 crap. There's one on, ooh, it might be a, a good one. It's a good one. Ooh, it's one right for us. Net, please. Oh. He just walked up, didn't he? Yeah. I think he saw a shoreline. It's probably yours. Oh, come on, buddy. Hold on, I'm trying to keep him over here.
He's not ready to come in. Oh, he's. You get him to get over there. If you get him over there, right, you're gonna lose him. Oh, come on, come on, buddy. Get out of the bush. Get out of the bush. Did I lose him? No. No, he's still right here. He's gonna work himself out. There you go. There you go. Here he goes. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ooh, come on, come on, slide in in there. Yes, he's in. <laughs> she got two hooks in her mouth too. No way. Oh, this one just came out though. Oh, it broke. Is that a bass hook? That's a bass hook. That's a hook. bass hook. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get her. Let's get her going. Do we have those pliers? Oh, yeah. oh nice. She's hooked right on the lip. Oh, that's good. Good, good deal. Good. Oh, she it popped right off, Jackson. We're good. She's gonna, she's gonna make it just fine. Okay. And is it the same as the last one over? It takes a second to start. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Zero, three, two, one, zero. All right, guys. After releasing that that nice one, it was nice because um, the 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 hook came right out. Um, she she needed to be revived a little bit. We we had a Push her back and forth uh, before we re before we release her. We had a we had a rock her back and forth a little bit, but she's she's alive and well and she's out there. So here you go. Yep, we're on. That's a little one. Yeah, hold on, buddy. Yeah, this one isn't big. Yeah, here we go. Oh, then we don't need a net for this. Or, yeah, you can net them. Watch out, watch out, buddy. Here, I'll hold on to you. Good job. Bring him in. Can you keep this guy? No. We'll probably let this guy go. Shoot. Oh, he broke off. It's okay. Ooh, hey, can I throw him back? Yeah, hold on. We got to get the hook out of him, though. There it goes. It's over. Oh, 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 come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. It's okay. We're going to let you go. Want to throw him back? Uh, I'll let this guy go, buddy. Okay. we got to be gentle with him. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, okay. Well, he's ready to go. And there he went. All right, guys, we've had this fish cooking for a little bit, so let's... We put some foil over it so that um, it could just lock in the heat. Um, so let's take a look at what we got so far. Uh, pick up on the spoil here. Ooh, juicy. Tell me that does. Oh, and it smells so damn good. Do we need a flipper or is she good? Uh, let, let it sizzle some more. We'll let it sizzle some more. Put it back up before we flip her. That's some, some good trout that we got cooking there. So we're letting it sizzle a little bit, cook some more, and then we're going to flip it. Second fillet we got. Uh, Ooh, she looks done. Oh my God. That's what we want, nice and white on the middle. Yep. Nice and flaky. Let's uh, make some spoons over. Whew. That's what she's supposed to look like, guys. Just dabble a little bit of this on it. She smells good. Fish is done. All right, guys. Second fillet is done. Fish is. It smells really, really good. Uh, it's. I mean, we're just using butter, some lime because we don't have lemon. Um, some. Lemon herbs, lemon and herbs, some parsley flakes, and some garlic salt. And that's all you need, and just a little bit of butter. And yeah, just on a cast iron skillet, on a little portable Coleman uh, stove. Shout out to my parents for letting me borrow that. So yeah, we're gonna, let's dig into this thing. Let's see, let's see if it's any good. For First bite of the second filet. It's hot. Whew. But so good. It, that one's that one's cooked to perfection, Smitty. So so good. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't it doesn't get any fresher than coming out yeah. to the pond. Like we just caught these fish right here. Doesn't get any fresher than pulling them out of the water and, and cooking it up. Oh wow. So that's oh, really wow. good fish. Alright guys. So that's gonna be a wrap for us today. Super successful day. 
decent catch and cook for you guys. Um, I told you guys I'd show you what we're using. So if you guys want to come out here and you guys want to try it, try your chance at some brooders. This is this is literally all we're using. It's all we ever use to fish for trout. We are using a slip weight. I, I got a bead on, uh, so a slip weight, I got a little bead on here before the swivel because the slip weight's a little bigger than it should be. It's a little oversized. Going down to a snap swivel. To, and <laughs> this leader, this leader has run short uh, from the fish because we've, uh, one of them broke off and so forth. But usually we use about an 18, 18 inch leader or so, maybe a little shorter, down to a size 16 or 14 treble and just two garlic scented power bait eggs and a gulp uh, a gulp grub a pink gulp grub and that's all we use and it slays them so if you guys want to try that get out there i encourage you to go fish catch something have some fun only keep what you're going to eat i know these things are stocked i know people like to just take every single thing they catch but only take home what you're going to use uh, leave, leave the fish let them have another day to fight and and let somebody else catch them if you're not gonna if it's just gonna sit in your freezer what's the point so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for another episode of Spartan Kid Outdoors and we will catch you guys later look at the size of that guy insane world record hashtag Dude, wait, was that a steelhead? You just threw back a steelhead.